So we're really excited that you have presented some data that looks very, very promising for uh, phase two data with relanocept in recurrent pericarditis. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure, so um, this is a phase two study. Uh, Dr. Alan Klein of the Cleveland Clinic and Dr. David Lynn of the Minneapolis Heart Institute were the co-principal investigators. Yes. Uh, and uh, Dr. Klein presented the data here at these meetings. Um, and so this was a 25 patient uh, phase two, op single active arm, open label uh, study. These 25 patients uh, presented with both idiopathic uh, as well as uh, post-pericardiotomy syndrome, pericarditis, yes. in two different presentations, both acute symptomatic presentation uh, as well as uh, chronic uh, steroid-dependent uh, disease. Right, right. And so the treatment paradigm, you know, Rolanocept is administered once weekly. And so uh, it was uh, up to a six-month total treatment period. Uh, first, there was a base treatment period of six weeks where patients receive Rolanocept on top of their standard of care medications. Right. Uh, and then there was an additional optional 18-week extension where clinicians were given the option to withdraw, taper and withdraw those standard of care medications. So that's the design of the trial. Um, and in terms of the results of the trial, which, yes. are, which we found very exciting, yes. I mean, these were the, really the evidence that uh, Rolanocept is impacting four key uh, outcomes that I think are part of the core, shall we say, unmet medical need in this disease. Right. So let me, I'll, I'll kind of list them and then maybe we can go through them, you know, as you like. So first is the, 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 the treatment or the treatment response of acute symptomatic episodes in patients who are failing their current management. Yes. And we saw rapid and sustained you know, responses. That's number one. Second, what we saw was uh, a reduction in the incidence of pericarditis recurrences while patients were on treatment. Importantly, third, what we saw was the ability to taper and discontinue corticosteroids, um, you know, again, while on treatment. And then ultimately, what we saw was improvement in, uh, in quality of life measure scores. So, yeah, so very exciting data, and right. may maybe we can go through, you know, a, a little bit of that. So in terms of the, uh, the acute treatment response. Right. So if you looked at the acute symptomatic patients who are failing their, uh, their standard of care management, what we saw was a rapid response as early as after the first, uh, the first dose. Okay. And uh, we saw reductions in patient-reported pain. We yes. saw reduction in inflammation. And uh, in fact, if you measure C-reactive protein, we saw that the median time to CRP normalization was nine days. So very fast. That's really remarkable. It is. Um, and then in terms of the, uh, the sustained response and uh, the reduction in pericarditis recurrences. So if you look before the trial, these patients had on average uh, 3.9 uh, recurrences per year. While on treatment, however, uh, it went down to less than 0.18 uh, per year. That's fantastic. Well,